What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome into the video and welcome into Pokemon Go Hoenn Tour. An event literally just started, literally there's bells ringing for it hitting 10 o'clock because apparently there's a bell tower here somewhere. I don't rightfully know. Just now hit 11 o'clock, we already have Latios and Latios on the nearby. Real quick, we're gonna go find that before doing anything else. Alright, so we're right near the Pokestop where it said it would spawn, so let's do some searching, but we have so much to do. There's so much field research, so much special research, there's a whole lot of collecting challenges, man. This is gonna be such a good day. I Honestly, my expectations are super low for today, but ooh, 12K. But yeah, my expectations are super low for the day, honestly. Haven't seen a whole lot as far as like people on Twitter saying really good things. It's really been hit or miss. Like everything I've seen, people have been saying they've been getting like 10 shinies, 20 shinies. Some people getting two shinies. Like I'm just not expecting calm day odds. That's all I'm expecting. If I get like three shinies, I think it's gonna be a win of a day, personally. One shiny that I'm really hoping to get is the shiny Gulpin, which honestly is super excited. And look at that. We got wild Latio Switch. Fun fact about these, if you guys did not know, they can be shiny in the wild right now. And if they are shiny, I just ran from it. And if they are shiny, they can't run away from you. So it's a guaranteed catch. But granted, they're still going to be very difficult to catch. But we get one throw. 2041 CP. Great throw. These guys like to run away, though. And he's going to be. Oh, he's still here. And this one wasn't even a great throw or a nice throw. He's definitely not staying in. Oh no, come on, come on, no, he's gone. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, one thing I don't like is these like decipher challenges. Not a big fan of those, but we get a research encounter and it's with a gulpin. Not gonna be shiny, 354, no idea what the hundo is. But we're gonna try and catch some Pokemon. We got so much to do today. I plan on being out here the entire day. Depends on the weather, cause it might get a little bit rainy here towards the first half of the event and it's just slightly cold, but it ain't too bad. But we got so much to do. I'll check in with you guys in just a minute. With that Latio snapshot, uh, we actually finished a task right here, which honestly probably gonna be an encounter with a Latios. We get 10 great balls, 3,800 XP, and an encounter with a Latios. Not gonna be shiny, 1606 CP. No idea if that's any good, but we're gonna catch it and find out in just a second. <laughs> Manages to catch the Latios, is it gonna be any good? And it's not gonna be any good whatsoever, but either way, free Latios, can't really complain. But shiny, nope. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you guys can see here, we are in our very first primal Groudon raid and as you can see we already almost knocked this thing out 10 people we got 220 seconds left this is gonna be easy we just gotta do like five of them so that way we can actually primal evolve our shiny Groudon because we actually got a shiny one from last year's event we thought it was two years ago I don't exactly know either way I just know I have a shiny one we're gonna be doing a lot of these just enough so we can primal evolve our Groudon but I'm trying to get a shiny Kyogre because I would love both shinies so probably gonna do quite a bit of primal Kyogre raids versus primal ground on raids summary we get 80 energy and we only get 10 balls to try and catch this thing and shiny Oh, not gonna be shiny 23 21 no idea if that's any good but we'll check here in just a second all right so quite literally caught it on our very last ball is it any good it's a 13 15 14 not bad also not good we're gonna see if we can get these same people over here in this Kyogre raid unless they've already done it we'll see what happens and as you guys can see here we are in a very first primal Kyogre raid we got 17 people in this this is gonna be absolutely a cakewalk there's actually a lot of people here a lot of people are playing in their cars at the moment because I'm at a park where you can kind of drive around and hit everything but I can understand why they're in their cars just because because it is a little bit rainy at the moment. No one wants to play in the rain, but I can't play in my car. I gotta record and I gotta hatch these 10Ks. I need those shiny regionals. I really want that shiny relic hand. That is literally my go-to shiny hunt today. I have so many incubators. If only there was like half egg distance or something like that, it'd make it so much better. We get 90 energy for that, 10 balls, only gonna need one shiny. Dang it, 2871 weather boosted since it is rainy at the moment. So that's really nice, but we're gonna catch it and we'll check if it's any good. Well. It ran. It did not have enough balls to be able to catch it. This rain is absolutely shafting me at the moment. But we get a Latios encounter, because just wild Latios. Maybe we'll catch it. Maybe maybe the game will bless us. And no. And it, it runs away too. This has just been an absolute disaster. This rain is absolutely just shafting me at the moment. I cannot throw a ball to save my life. Hopefully this one goes a little bit better. We got Primal Groudon. I'm in a little bit of cover right now. So hopefully this rain kind of holds off for me a little bit and we're able to catch this one. But to be honest, I would have liked that Kyogre. No idea if it was any good. I'll probably, in post, I'll probably say if it was good or not. I have no idea, honestly. We got 20 people in here. We're gonna fly through this. Primal Groudon goes down. We get 90 energy this time. 12 balls. Very happy about that. Shiny. Man. 
and 23-11. I think this is slightly better than the one he caught earlier, but we'll see in a second. So he managed to catch this one. Apparently Groudon likes me a little bit more than Kyogre, but this one, 14-14-10. Not all too terrible. Ooh, bag on shiny. Oh, that's an unknown. Not shiny as well. Bag on shiny. No. Bag on shiny. No. Cast form. Shiny. No. Trapinch. No. Yeah, like I said earlier, not expecting a whole lot from this event as far as shinies go, but, you know, I'm here to have fun. It's going to be a good event either way, but hopefully tomorrow is a lot better as far as weather goes. It's not supposed to rain at all, so hoping for a good day tomorrow. And we actually just completed a collection challenge. Do we get an encounter? We do. Let's see what this encounter is going to be. It's going to be a Pikachu with a little bow. Not going to be a shiny. Could have been shiny. Also, we have these two encounter. What is this? It's going to be a Shuppet, not shiny. And next one is going to be a Duskull, interesting. And I believe the next, like, decipher task is Evolve an Nincada, which gives you an encounter with a Shedinja. Yeah, a Shedinja. I just realized I was not screen recording on everything that I just said. I'm gonna cry. Okay, so we have a Chasing Legend task, which we have to power up 15 Pokemon, so let's do that real quick. Okay, we got our Collection Medal, which, honestly, forgot about that. But we did get this. We get three Incense, which is honestly huge. We get five Candy for Kyogre and Groudon, and we get an encounter with Absol, which I do have a costumed Hundo, so really would prefer the Shiny on this one, but... Eh, more Abzo candy's good. Was he any good though? Absolutely garbage. Next set of the research. Let's see what we got to do. Choose a path. Honestly, I want Gulpin. Like I said earlier, Gulpin is the boy. Use an incense. I already got one. Catch five Gulpin. Catch ten different species of Pokemon. And we all get encounters, which I believe all those are Gulpin. So let's try and knock those out. Oh, we got an unknown on the incense. Will it be shiny? No. I only have two shiny unknowns, and both of them are unknown F. Honestly, I did not know that's actually a very sought-after shiny unknown, because apparently it's like the focused unknown in like the Pokedex, or... That's kind of cool. I got two of them. Hi. Oh my. Another Latio. This thing loves me. This is our third encounter. Will we actually catch this one? This one actually is a low CP as well, so that's actually really good. Oh, come Mission on. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. Oh my god, we've lost three of them. Shiny Pikachu check? No. Alright, so we've caught in three out of the five Gulpins, and if I'm not mistaken, these two should be Gulpin checks, so either way, if they are, we will have the research finished and shiny. Not gonna be shiny, 345 CP, and I'm not screen recording again. Bro, I'm just so just overwhelmed right now, so I apologize, guys. I'm normally not like this. But, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. No! Encounter number four. This was off a lure module, 1629. I'm screen recording this time. I can guarantee you guys that. <laughs> I'm making sure I'm screen recording now. And, oh, come on, no, that's four gone, man. Uh, apparently, they are supposed to have boosted odds as far as shinies go, so that's kind of cool. But, man, no shiny there. But, shiny golden. Man. 357 CP, no idea the hundo, but either way, it's not a useful Pokemon. Don't care about the hundo, I just want the shiny. And our third encounter with Gulpin's gonna be a shiny. It's not a shiny. 365, this one's even better than the other two. This one might be good, this one actually might be really good. Could be a hundo. We're gonna check this one because we know it's better than the other two. And what do we have here? Ow, oh, it's a 96, so close, man. We get two battle passes, 30 Pokeballs, and five Ultra Balls. What do we gotta do now? Blah, 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 no one cares, re. Spin 15 Pokestops again, explore one kilometer, catch 10 Fire Grass, catch one Groudon. We get 200 Primal Energy. Oh, that makes things so much easier, holy. Ooh, reward, shiny. Nope. It starts to get no shiny, dang it. And one of the most sought after shinies of this entire event is shiny Kecleon, which we just knocked one off of this Pokestop, so let's go find this thing and see if we can potentially get one of the most sought after and rare shinies of this entire event. I'm gonna be completely honest, I think my game bugged out and he didn't jump off initially, and I think I might have just flung him. So I don't think we're gonna get a Kecleon <laughs> counter, oh no. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest guys, I'm not seeing him and I am right on top of this Pokestop. Ooh, we get an unknown encounter though, not gonna be a shiny. Yeah, he's nowhere to be found. Um, well, RIP Kecleon, he will not be missed. Actually, he will be missed. So I actually got three field research tasks to evolve an Inkata, which is what I was waiting for. So we're gonna evolve one real quick. Oh, our change. Zangoose, not shiny. Absol, not gonna be a shiny. Man, I'm gonna go hard this hour. This looks like a good hour to 
do some shiny hunting, man. So run for some reason. I didn't know he was spawning right now. Ralts, not gonna be a shiny. Unknown, not gonna be a shiny. But either way, let's evolve a Nincata real quick. Which, fun fact, I've never evolved a Nincata before, so you guys are getting a Pokedex entry real quick. Finish my Pokedex for the Hone event too, which I'm very looking forward to. And there we go, we got Ninjask into the Pokedex right there. And now we have three Shedinja checks. Shedinja check number one. Nope. Honestly, a shiny I don't think looks any different. Shiny check number two. Nope. Mm, not gonna be a shiny 141, even worse. And the final Shedinja check is it gonna nope. be a shiny. Uh, no, 154 CP, so this one is the best one so far, so we'll check the IVs on this one once we catch it. So we got all three Shedinjas, 154 CP, is it? Okay, they're all absolutely garbage. Shiny check? No. To traveling a little bit farther than I normally do, we get a Latios, and it's not gonna be shiny, 2075 CP. Y'all ready to see it run away? Because that's what it's gonna do. We get an excellent throw, Ultra Ball, Golden Raz, still gonna run away. Two, and it's gone. <gasps> Second chance. Okay, this one was only a nice throw. It's for sure running away. We ain't catching it. We ain't catching it. See? See? Broke free. We get a third attempt. This is unheard of. We didn't get even a nice throw on this. It's for sure not being caught. Yep. Broke free. And another chance. Did we get it? Did we get it? Oh, no. And we had four chances. And it's gone. Yay. But while we're here and I have you guys here, we have another collection challenge to claim, which this one's probably going to be a Surskit. Shit. Oh, it's a Pikachu. And not shiny. F. I don't think my camera was recording. This is just a scuffed day so far. But we took down another Primal Kyogre, 2312 CP. Not gonna be any good. But we got another Primal raid we're about to do right now. And I'll catch you guys in that next raid. Because this one's not gonna be good. As you might be able to tell behind me, the rain has picked up a little bit. So our adventure might be moved to the car for a minute. But I managed to get under some cover. And we got another Primal Kyogre raid. Because two spawn next to each other. Not gonna be a shiny 2293. This one's gonna suck. Dang, man. I was really hoping for a Groudon. Because for the task, I need to catch a Groudon. On, but eh, we'll still do it. We need the energy. We need the we need the shiny As you can see here, we got into another primal Groudon raid, and as you can tell, I made a run for the car. Not really much you can do in this rain, but luckily it's supposed to stop here in about an hour, so good time to take a little bit of a lunch break and potentially maybe drive around, see if we can get some more primals and stuff like that. Primal Groudon does go down. Hopefully we will be able to finish stage two of this research while we are in the car. We get 70 energy, 13 balls. Will we get the shiny again? Shiny, no! 23.25, gonna be the best one so far, and we managed to catch the oh gosh i tapped out of it so we managed to catch the groudon it is gonna be a 13 13 15 that honestly not too half bad yeah we're nearly two hours into this event and we still have yet to get a shiny which is very surprising but we do have two research checks right here what's it gonna be is it gonna be it's a fossil yay next one is gonna be a Volbeat, not shiny. I really want that one. That is a actually a good looking shiny. Oh, and we also got a field research encounter. What's it gonna be? It's a Pikachu with a beanie, not gonna be a shiny. And we're back again with yet another Primal Groudon raid that we just finished off. Hopefully we can manage to get the shiny this time. Granted, I don't really need a shiny. I would like a better shiny because the first one I got isn't very good in all honesty, but you know what? A shiny Groudon is a shiny Groudon, so can't really be too upset about that. Why did I only get six balls? 23.32, and this one's better than the last one, and I have six balls to catch this. I don't think I'm gonna do it. We have officially finished stage three of the special research. Encounter's gonna be a Soul Rock. Not gonna be a shiny, sadly. Actually, I already had the shiny, so I'm not too upset about that. 968 CP, it's gonna be terrible. And our next encounter is gonna be a Trapinch. 524 CP, not gonna be shiny. And it's gonna be garbage again. But our reward, we get 10 Groudon candy, 200 primal energy, which means we are actually able to primal evolve a Groudon, which we're gonna wait to do that until we potentially get a really good one. So you might have to wait till the end of the video to see that. But we get a 
encounter with a cast form. Not going to be shiny. Sunny form cast form as well, but not going to be the shiny. Stage 4, the research probably going to have to deal with Kyogre now. It's going to be spin 15, explore 1, catch 10 water, electric, or bug types, which next hour, I believe, is actually the water type hour. And as you guys can tell, we get another Primal Groudon raid. A lot of this is probably going to be focused on raiding, if I'm being completely honest with you guys, because it seems like the shiny odds really aren't too good for me right now, because I have gotten nothing. <laughs> as you guys probably could tell because there have been no clips of me getting shinies until this raid because this is going to be a shiny grout on it i can guarantee it all right so i had three more evolving and caught a task so first check is going to be not a shiny 150 cp not going to be good second check I told y'all it looks exactly the same, but we got it 149 CP. Let's go first shiny of the day Shiny Shedinja. I'm actually so hyped about that. It sucks, but granted it's not a useful Pokemon Also, we have a collection challenge that we're about to go check right after this and the collection challenge We are checking we get an incense we get five great balls and we get an encounter with Pikachu with the bow not gonna be shiny Pain. Once again, two more field research tasks. First one's gonna be a Duskull, not gonna be shiny. And the second check is gonna be a Shuppet, not gonna be shiny as well. I'm just happy I got the Shedinja. That's all I care about. Also, I believe the rain should be letting up here soon, so hopefully we will be able to get out and get some more on foot footage, because honestly, I really need it. I really need to hatch some eggs, because I have yet to hatch any 10Ks, and I need those shiny regionals. I want that shiny Relicant. I need it. All right, we're still stuck in the car due to this rain, but we did finish the next stage of the special research stage four. First encounter is gonna be a mining, not gonna be shiny. Next one is gonna be a Lunatone, not gonna be shiny either. I have a feeling, quote me on this, one of these is gonna be an Illumise. I believe that's how you are technically supposed to pronounce it. Next encounter is gonna be a Wilmer. That's a big old boy right there. And the next encounter will be a I told you guys, Illumise, 728 CP. No idea if that's any good, but not a useful Pokemon. Only wish it was shiny. Pain. And our last encounter for the research, 10 Kyogre candy, and we're gonna get a... No way! Oh! Shiny rain... <laughs> oh! Shiny rain form cast form. Oh! I'm sorry if that peaked the microphone. I'll try to fix it in post if it did, but oh my lord! There's no way! A 15, 11, 12 rain form shiny cast form. Honestly, if I don't get another shiny the rest of the day, today is still an absolute W of a win. Activate Primal Reversion, defeat a Team Rocket leader. Man, I don't want to do that yet. Granted, this doesn't have to be finished today, so we might hold off until either towards the end of the video Video or tomorrow to do it. Oh, we got two 5Ks. What's it gonna be? First one's gonna be a Cacnea, not gonna be shiny. Imagine we get a shiny on this egg hatch two on top of the shiny rain form cast form. Oh, that'd be a clip. And it's a Marini. Gross. Cacnea, no good. Marini, no good. But oh my lord. And we're getting close to hatching some of these 10Ks. We're actually about to hatch another 5Ks. Oh, y'all have no idea how happy I am. Oh, we got another 10K. That's actually huge. And another 10K. What a W of a day now. All right, guys, this is probably my sixth or seventh Latios encounter. I haven't recorded all of them, but I have not caught a single one, and none of them, don't judge that throw. I'm doing it one-handed. And none of them have been shiny, and I've not caught a single one until now. I had to talk. Well, there goes that Latios. And y'all already know we're back at it with another Primal Kyogre raid. And I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I got 18 more premium raid passes after I finish this one. So y'all are gonna be seeing a lot of Primal Groudons and Primal Kyogre raids because who knows when they're gonna be coming back. And like I said earlier, shiny raids aren't too good. So it's probably the best thing to do right now is to do the Primal raids. 12 balls, 90 energy, shiny, only need one. Dang it, man. 23, 26. This one's gonna be half decent, so hopefully I can actually catch this one. And we actually managed to catch this Kyogre 23, 26. What's it gonna be? 15 attack, 
12 defense, 13 HP. Honestly, that's actually really good since it has a 15 attack, so can't really complain about that. But now, it's time for a Primal Groudon raid. Another Primal Groudon raid. This one, knocking out extremely quickly. Honestly, I expected these things to be a whole lot harder to take out, but granted, if you have 16 to 20 people, it's gonna be pretty easy to take any raid boss down, even the Primals. But Primal Groudon goes down, 90 energy, 12 balls, shiny. Dang it, 2308. Not good. Time to catch some more. And by catch, I totally meant another Primal Raid. <laughs> it's technically catching, because once we beat it, we have to catch a Pokemon, but Primal Groudon goes down once again. Like I said, focusing mostly on Primal Raids, because I would love some more Shinies. Shiny Legends, that is. And just normal Shinies in general, but I don't think I'm going to be getting a lot of Shinies from actual catching, because we have yet to get one. The two that we got are from Field Research, but 80 energy, 13 balls, Shiny. Man, 23-22. This one might be half decent, but not the hundo, not the shiny. Sad. And once again, three more field research to check. And we get a Shedinja. Not gonna be shiny. We get a Shedinja. There's no. <laughs> we got a second shiny Shedinja. This is a W of a day already. Oh, there's no way. This one's gonna be bad too. Yeah, 12, 12, 10. What a W of a day. And the third one is gonna be a Shuppet. Not shiny. Don't care. Two shiny Shedinjas. I won today. And while we are here, we have our last and final field of research we gotta claim. Probably gonna be a Pikachu again. Incense, five great balls. And an encounter with... Pikachu with the beanie, not gonna be a shiny. That's a little depressing. Probably gonna have to wait till tomorrow to get that shiny Pikachu, cause that's all the field research for Pikachu, so that's a little upsetting. And the moment we've all been waiting for, the very first 10K egg hatch, and what's it gonna be? It's gonna be a non-shiny Torkoal. What a disappointment. And we got two more of the regional 10 kilometer eggs hatching. First egg, we're gonna get a Relicant. At least we get it in the Pokedex, at least. Not gonna be shiny, but it's a Pokedex, so I'm happy about that. And the very next one is gonna be a Tropius. Not gonna be shiny. I do have the Hundo, but I would love the shiny. Any good? Garbage and garbage. That sucks. Shiny Feebas. Dang it. I managed to find myself another sh Latios nope. shiny. Oh no, 481. I actually have a chance to catch this one. This is the lowest CP that I have found all day. And what, I should have taken my time. Yeah, I only got a nice throw. Oh no. You I'm never catching one of these things. I don't even think I've ever caught a, hold on. I don't know if I ever caught a wild. Oh no, I did, I caught this one. This was during the uh, Johto Tour that I was about to say. I don't think I've ever caught a wild legendary, but hey, we got a Raikou from Johto Tour, so that's kind of cool. Ooh, tiny corefish. And I've once again found my nemesis of this event, Latias. Latios. And it's not gonna be a shiny, 24, 55. Definitely not gonna catch this one. I don't know what y'all expect. I, I never liked Latios and Latios, and now this is just reinforcing that. Man, y'all already know what time it is. It's time for another Primal Groudon shiny check, per the usual. Oh, it's not knocked out? Okay, there we go. Now it's knocked out. I think it was a little buggy there for a second, but that's okay. Still knocked it out. Plenty of time left. Knocked it out in less than a minute, 59 seconds to be exact. And we get 90 more energy, 10 balls. Only one because it's a shiny. Dang it, man. 2291, another garbage one. That's okay, we're on our way to another Kyogre raid, so we're gonna do that in just a second. I was honestly a little bit scared because we literally just finished that Kyogre raid and there was 40 seconds left to actually beat it. And I'm telling you for like the last minute of that entire battle, the person across from me, I didn't even see them. I'm pretty sure two or three people literally weren't there the entire nope. time attacking once they got knocked out. 2306 Kyogre, not gonna be a shiny, not gonna be good. Oh well, we continue on and it is about time we finally got our first random wild encounter shiny, and it is a soul rock. We got the tomato sun. This is actually the second shiny soul rock I've ever gotten, so really not too enthusiastic about that, but hey, first wild spawn shiny of the day. Can't really be too upset about that. And let's check the IVs on it. Nah, decent for a shiny, but could be better. I was about to make me a snack real quick, but it turns out we got two eggs to hatch. We got a two kilometer egg, which is gonna be hatching first, and we're gonna get a Torchic, not gonna be a shiny. And the one we are trying to hatch, the 10K. What's it gonna be? It's gonna be a Relicant, not shiny. Torchic, 
gonna be bad, Relicant gonna be bad too. And once again, my nemesis has made yet another appearance. Latios, will you be shiny this time? Please. Nope. No, he will not. Definitely not catching this one. 30, 30 CP. This is gonna be near and Don't look at me like that. This one's gonna be near impossible though. Yep, broke free, and he's gone. Yep. There was literally no way I was catching that one. Zangu, shiny? Nope. All right, and before we get into some more primal raids, because some more are about to pop in a few minutes, we have two more, and these are probably the final research tasks of the day. First one we are gonna get is gonna be a Sableye. Not gonna be shiny, 614 CP. No idea if that's any good. Such a good shiny that I've always wanted but haven't been able to get. Next encounter, we have a... Surskit, not gonna be a shiny as well. Oh well, three research shinies. I can't really complain at all, honestly. Three rare shinies, that is. Not even just normal shinies, rare shinies. Can't really complain. Overall, W day, W event. Wish the shiny odds were a little bit better, or at least we had like quarter egg distance or something, but really can't complain too much. I was finally about to do the primal reversion for Groudon at least, but then another set of eggs were about to hatch and I was gonna wait. So here we are with another primal Kyogre raid, which there are more eggs hatching all over the park. So, which if there are no Groudons, we will probably be primal evolving our Groudon here very shortly, which I'm super excited about that one because we have nearly a thousand energy, I believe. Primal Kyogre goes down. We get 80 more energy, 12 balls, shiny. Nope. Dang it, man. 2293, garbage again. And once again, we are back at it with another Primal Kyogre. I told you guys, we're doing a lot of raids today. Have they been good? Absolutely not. <laughs> the best I've gotten was a 13, 13, 15, so raids have not been too solid to me today. But there's always tomorrow, which tomorrow, there's not really a chance of rain at all tomorrow, so should be good for the entire day. But down goes Kyogre, all the rewards, 10,000 XP. We get 70 energy, 13 balls, but we only need one because it's a shiny. And it's not. 2318, not gonna be anything special. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think it's about that time. Time where we primal revert our shiny Groudon into shiny primal Groudon for the very first time into the Pokedex, because this is one of the coolest shiny Pokemon in Pokemon Go. And look at it, man. It's so good. Shiny primal Groudon into the Pokedex. That thing is so good. And all the bonuses with it is actually insane. So this is one that I'm going to try to get to max level as soon as I possibly can. So got to stack up on that energy. But finish the first stage here and we got to defeat a Team Rocket Go leader. So we'll do that here in just a minute. And probably the most exciting thing to happen recently, two egg hatches. Two 10k egg hatches for the regionals. We get a trophy is not going to be a shiny. And we get a... There's no... That's not the one I wanted, but a shiny regional is a shiny regional. No. We got a 96 shiny Torkoal. Today is an absolute W. I have literally no complaints whatsoever, except for the rain. I have no complaints with the event, but holy. Now we're going to see if we can get a shadow build them real quick, because oh, these eggs, man, oh, love them. You know, what's even crazier about that clip is the fact that I almost did not record that egg hatch. I was like, hey, there's no way I'm getting a shiny. There's no reason to record. The odds are, are low to get it anyway, so there's no reason to even waste the time to record it. But man, am I glad I I did but Sierra goes down will we get the shadow beldum right after the shiny Torkoal we get a not a shadow shiny beldum that would have put icing on this cake this is actually sprinkles there's already icing on this cake it would have put the sprinkles on it because let's be honest sprinkles make everything better but that means we get to move on with the next stage of the Hoenn Tour Special Research. Get the charge TMs, which that's going to be it. Honestly, there look to be no more tasks, but we do get an encounter. What's it going to be? Claim reward. It's going to be a Spinda. I was expecting Groudon or something. Really wish it could have would have been shiny, but cool. I'll take a Spinda, I guess. Let's try to see if we can maybe get one more. One more shiny before the end of this because the rain is starting to sprinkle a little bit more so might have to call it here early so we're going to try and grind out just a little bit more just to see if we can get anything.
I was literally driving to where the bathrooms are and I just park and I click on a gulpin and look at it. We get a shiny gulpin, the brand new. Ah! I am so happy. That is the brand new shiny that I wanted the most minus the regionals, which are only in eggs, but we got one of those. But this is the one I wanted, man. We got the blue gulpin. Oh, that makes me so happy. Y'all have no idea. Oh, this just turned the day around, even though it was already a good day. And hopping into potentially our very last Primal Kyogre raid. Angela, if you are watching, thank you for the invite on this one. I really hope this is a good one because the Kyogres I've been getting all day have been absolutely trash. I swear to you, if this thing is shiny, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Shout out Angela Mary B for the invite. Y'all should go check her out on YouTube. She makes great videos, guys. Go check her out. Her YouTube's gonna be linked in the description, so go and check her out. And the Primal Kyogre goes down. 80 energy, only eight balls, come on. Shiny Kyogre only gonna need one. Dang it! 2315, half decent, nothing special. Oh well. Thank you, Angela, for the invite. And now hopping into our very last Primal Groudon raid. It's been a pretty good day, honestly. Like, I was expecting maybe one or two shinies at best, not to hatch any shinies. So the fact that I got six total shinies, hatched one of them, and four of the shinies were brand new, honestly, I can't really complain at all. Like, when I tell you guys my expectations were bottom of the barrel, they were bottom, bottom of the barrel. Like, I was expecting this to be an absolutely horrible event. Hasn't lived up to the last go-toers and stuff like that, but granted, it was a free event, so really can't say anything about that. Raids have been really consistent and easy to to do because there's almost always been full lobbies but shiny ground on dang it 23 24 not too bad overall pretty w of a day i'm honestly looking forward to tomorrow i don't know if there's going to be any more research for the event as far as tomorrow goes and we just caught it on the very first ball let's go 14 15 14 not bad not bad at all. I have no idea if there's going to be any more research tomorrow or anything like that. I'm, I'm hoping there is. That way there's still more to do and stuff like that. But granted, we will get at least more field research because you get new field research every single day. So excited for that due to the fact that more chances for shinies. But just the fact that I hatched one regional shiny just makes me insanely happy. I wasn't expecting to get any of them. I will say I'm a little upset that I wasn't able to catch a Latios in the wild. But hey, we got tomorrow to be able to do that. So I can't really complain but yeah as of right now we finished the day off with six total shinies and they are all good looking well I, I was gonna say they're all good looking shinies but shedinja you can't even tell a shiny so but we got the brand new gulp and the brand new torkoal we got a soul rock we got the shiny water cast form and we got two shiny shedinjas which are insanely rare shinies overall five super rare shinies one that's kind of meh since i have two of them but overall amazing day tomorrow should be a lot warmer tomorrow should also be less rainy i don't think there's any chances of rain tomorrow very happy about that expect a good video for part two and if you guys made it this far be sure to like comment subscribe all those good things and i'll catch you guys in day two peace